this is Broadway you see behind me here and uh, well I'm going towards downtown Los Angeles but I'm actually not on my way there um, I just parked on the street there so what I'm planning to do is to go up to the end of Broadway here and actually cross the the river on this old historic bridge they have up there so uh, le let's do that and before we leave this area we can just do one little sweep and see what they actually have here in the background here we see downtown Los Angeles here with the city hall in, in the middle and uh, this is Broadway going back to uh, Chinatown here And behind that antenna you see up there we have uh, Dodger Stadium and the whole area here is kind of called Illusion Park up there and here we have the train and the race car passing but the train is more interesting There, there is actually a station down here by uh, Chinatown and I think the street you see on the other side is spring by the way so let's go up and uh, investigate that little bridge well it's not a little bridge but it's a it's a beautiful historic bridge so let's do it The area up here to the left is actually called uh, Solano Canyon. It's one of these original historic areas here from the 1800s. They had a guy who owned uh, pretty much all the land up there, but he actually eventually chopped it up in about a hundred lots that he actually sold out to, uh, to the public. And it's really a nice place. Minutes from downtown and yet it's like being out in the countryside. It's very quiet there in the evening. But, but you can't have the house right next to Broadway because this street is always busy here. And you see the kind of area we are in here. There's a lot of these <laughs> racer wires up here. So uh, yeah, you need to be careful. coming closer to the bridge now and I'm kind of excited here you see the sign here Elysian Park and if you take that little road up there you can actually go all the way up to the top there's the train again and uh, it's really a beautiful area uh, up there you should go up and uh, check it out if you happen to be in in town right We have the beginning here of this beautiful bridge and they have some uh, columns in the beginning. They also put up a sign here, they say the historic Buena Vista Street viaduct constructed in 1909 and rededicated in 2000. So I think originally they called it Buena Vista right and then it became uh, North Broadway Bridge something like that that's my guess when they built this bridge it was just one of the longest and widest bridges here in uh, Southern California it's the train again the metro line This viaduct or bridge is uh, almost a thousand feet long. They have these balconies here 
actually on both sides. They did, of course, not have too many cars in uh, 1909. So they actually did a pretty smart move here when they built this bridge because even today it's pretty wide and can handle a lot of traffic. Later on I will actually go down here and uh, show you the bridge from below because you can't really see much from, from up here. Uh, but on the other side of the river here you have the spring Spring Street Bridge. And this balcony here is uh, much bigger. You can actually hang out here. And of course, the typical trash, right? Let's look down and see what we can see here. Well, you see definitely the river down there, right? Slowly going down to the ocean in this way. But before it hits the ocean, it needs to go under a lot of bridges here. If I'm looking up in this direction here, this is pretty much Mount uh, Washington. And you have Glassell Park and Cypress Park right here on the other side of this bridge here we will come down in what is called Lincoln Heights and that's a really interesting area it's also very old historic lots of beautiful buildings they have coffee shops they have uh, restaurants all that stuff And right now we are drying up in the river here. We passed the rainy season here, so what you see is basically a small, you know, baby canal here in the middle. But when the rain comes, this can be a crazy dangerous place. Let me see if I can cross the street here without dying in traffic. I need to be very quick here. I'm running. Action. To the other side. I made it. I'm looking north. You see that big building right there? You pass that building, I think, and you go down maybe half a block, you can actually access the river area from there. You can take your car and drive all the way down. But you're not supposed to do that, and uh, it's uh, pretty illegal here in town to do that, I think. Wow, you can clearly see the water here. It's clear. I wonder if they have fish here or if this is too poisonous for, for fish. Well, we have a tough guy on the other side here. A jogger. Good jogging! Yeah! The day is perfect for jogging. And look at these columns here. The fluted columns marking the entrance into the bridge and you go down to the next traffic light down there, there that will actually take you down to Spring Street and here we have the fire department yeah this area is just full of action can't believe it This is really a nice place. 
If you want to smell history here in town, this is the place. This is the base of uh, one of these uh, fluted columns here and uh, they put up some, some names. They say here that they did a seismic retrofit and historic restoration in 2000. But on this side, as you can see, they say it's built 1911. On the other side of the bridge they say 1909. They could mean it actually opened in 1911 and uh, they started to build in 1909. I mean, you never know. It's just numbers, right? Early 1900 is enough for me. And we have a beautiful view of downtown. And these endless numbers of uh, metro buses coming here. Like I said, there is an entrance into the riverbed here behind us. And uh, here is an example of that. You see a car down there. They are basically talking to these geese they have down there. I see two geese walking down next to the car. They probably throw out some biscuits. We have the Metrolink here. So you could have fun, but just make sure you don't go out in the river just after the rain, right? Because you could be swept away easily. The train is just following the river here. Disappearing under the spring bridge. So let's go back and pick up the car and drive down and uh, we will get a much nicer view of this bridge here. Uh, this guy is driving now. It's pretty sweet, right? He looks like a, a city worker because he had one of these orange vests on, right? So if you go down there, buy a vest. You, you buy them at Walmart for 10 bucks and then you can go down there and pretend to work for the city, right? You need to be smart. I, I think LAPD is pretty smart too, so they would figure out really fast that you are actually breaking some rules here. They actually have many, many authorities controlling the river here. It's not only one, it's like I, I saw a number, it's over 10 different agencies or authorities controlling this area down here. It's complicated. We have some state park workers down there. and Look at that green, uh, I don't know what to call it, machine or truck or cart. They have solar panels on the top. Yeah. It's a smart move. Lots of interesting tracks here. Here we have some kind of car train. It's basically a truck converted into some kind of train machine here. I don't know what they're doing, but they're probably fixing something. Let's take a look at that. The guy is just kicking back there in the bed. Wow. Well, they work for the metro. They're just kicking back, relaxing, getting paid. Ah, it's a beautiful job. I need, I need to apply, I think. I made it down 
to a lower level now and I'm pretty much under this uh, Broadway bridge here. Um, this area behind me here you have a lot of these beautiful brick buildings built you know a hundred years ago. Uh, they are still used actually. We have a lot of new businesses moving into to the area you know a few city blocks behind me here and it's really a cool place but let's go and see if we can find a better view of this very beautiful bridge here an early bridge crossing the river here in Los Angeles right here you see the spring bridge coming down An interesting building by the way the question I have now is how well can I see it I mean we are in LA and there, there are fences everywhere and you can't really go in it's private property and all that stuff so it's hard to find good viewing spots here I think I will try in the middle of the street here. Well, as, as you can see here, they actually, you know, brought in some Roman inspiration here when, when they built it. They, they have these beautiful pillars here. Uh, in the beginning here, up here, these fluted columns. Uh, and also in the end here. And the whole thing is just very, very nicely done, right? A concrete bridge, still standing, 110 years after they built it, right? So uh, that is impressive to be Los Angeles. You know, most buildings in outside the, the downtown area is, is really not that old, actually. But here in the downtown area, it's, it's a lot of, you know, these, these historic, uh, buildings still standing. I like that. It's really cool. And people think LA is just nonsense concrete everywhere, which is true, right? To, to, to some extent, but they also have an amazing history from the late 1800s, after the gold rush pretty much, right? And it's still going on. And they just fix them up a little bit and they will keep them forever, okay? That's my hope. So here you have it, the Broadway Bridge over LA River.